What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. I'm down in SoCal today, here in Brea, and I'm doing another interview with Matt. What's up, bro? How's it How's going? going? Good, Thanks good, Thanks for coming man. out, man. Thanks for having me. Yeah, for sure. So you got a, a crazy-ass car. Show oh. us what's up, dude. <laughs> yeah, so uh, it's not that crazy. It's basically a rear-wheel drive yeah. Honda Accord. No, but um, <laughs> this is what, a what? 1991 Acura NSX. Okay. Um, and yeah, this is what it looks like. Nice. When did you buy it? Um, I got it about three years ago. Um, so back in 2017, uh, this car was originally black or Berlina black. Um, and I recently repainted the entire car uh, Grand Prix white. Oh, nice. It looks great, man. Yeah, yeah. So, Your car looks a lot different than the majority of the NSX owners. Yeah, I mean, it's a bit of a mashup kit, like wide body mm -hmm. and um, some other kits from Japan. Uh, a majority of it is from this Japanese company called Root Chaos. And uh, I just mashed up a bunch of stuff and it, it kind of came out like this. Um, nice. Well, uh, can you walk us around? Show us uh, what kind of parts specifically you have? Yeah, so... Let's start with the, the front yeah, end. I think the front, we have the Root Chaos Hornet style kit. And then um, we got a Type R uh, style hood. Um, I think pretty much 90% of NSX owners don't have that. So but Definitely. I, I have like <laughs> a bunch of them, right? <laughs> yeah. And then uh, the front fenders is uh, by this company called Advance. In Japan. Oh, I love these fenders because it has that little slit right here opening. Yeah, it's Which got that nice. slit and then it has the uh, the side um, the side blinker. And then side skirts are by the same company, Root KS. And then it goes into a rear wide quarter panel um, from the same company, Root KS as well. What spoiler is this? Uh, that is called sard or sardi i don't know i'm not exactly sure how they pronounce it but um it's one of the more unique gt wings that they have yeah this car. you got the margot hill spats um actually those are pride oh pride, um, pride carbon fiber and you know, better fitment too yeah a little <laughs> a little bit oh, it looks good yeah um ah. and then the rear diffuser is by the company um by the same company rukes as well um, sweet and, and taillights look different too right like jdm taillights. yeah they're uh, by this company in japan called car shop glow so oh, if you okay. notice, a lot yeah, of my yeah. a lot of the parts that I get are from Japan. Um, I try to keep this car as Japanese as possible, even though there are some you know American parts. And even nineties look. Yeah, cool. inspiration for this car is um, I'm not sure if a lot of people are familiar, but uh, Japanese Time Attack. Um, so the ethos in Japanese Time Attack is that they want to look cool as well as go fast. Uh, unfortunately for me, I just look cool. No, just go dude. Slow. <laughs> Based on your, your license plate, it looks like you have something pretty crazy in your uh, your engine. Yeah. So C38 NSX, what's, what's that about? Okay, so uh, the motor, this is an NA1. So um, the motor is originally a 3.0 liter, and which is a C30. Um, but this motor is a little bit special. Uh, it actually oh, so Check it out. was um, was an original, originally stroked to a 3.8. Wow. So uh, it was stroked by one of the uh, original guys here in SoCal uh, that did um, stroker kits for, I believe, Science of Speed. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, so his name is John Martin. So I believe this is one of the first cars to have that stroker kit. Nice. Um, That's so crazy. It stroked to 3.8. 3 yeah. It looks pretty stock, actually. But yeah. uh, the entire drivetrain and power line, I guess. I'm sorry, the entire drivetrain and powertrain has been upgraded. What intake is this? It's called a Grup, Group M, Group M, Grup, or Group M. I'm not, I'm yeah. not exactly too sure how you pronounce it. That's pretty cool. Group M. And what's this thing right here? That is an oil catch. It's kind of a, oh, wow. <laughs> in a weird position. I, I have like a new reservoir and oil catch setup that I, I need to install. Yeah. Um, but this was from the previous owner. I see. Um, okay. So yeah. a little bit of background for this car. Yeah. This car has always been a track car. Um, generally, mm -hmm. um, in its in part, entire lifespan. Um, so the original owner used to track this car religiously, and I used to go tracking with him, you know, at the racetracks every so often. Nice. And one day he decided to sell it, and he thought I would be a good candidate, so I ended up just picking it up. I got Sweet. it for a pretty good, pretty good deal. Um, Do you mind saying on camera like how much you? you yeah, for yeah. It? So I, I, I believe I lucked out. I got it before the whole NSX craze. Um, so I got it for about. I got it for just shy of 35000 Wow, nice. Yeah. Clean um, title and miles. Clean title, miles. Uh, I got it at 110,000 miles. I've only 
currently it only has 114. So in three years, you know, that's how much I've driven it. Um, I've just only taken it to a few track events so far. Um, but yeah, I mean, in, in terms of how much I've invested in the car, it's a little bit different story. Definitely, because like you know, it, it it takes a lot of money to to make your car just actually just look like this. Yeah. So, do you mind telling the viewers how much you actually spent on on making it look really cool? <laughs> okay, so the paint job uh, itself is a roughly 10k you know, yep. paint body work, and um, I think the body kit itself is about five to seven K. Now, I'm so glad you said that because I, I spent about the same thing for my first body kit. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people don't understand like how much it costs to actually paint your car. Yeah. So it's a, it was a lot of planning and prepping. So the thing is, is that even though you, you can drop as much money you want on this car, there's a lot of time that invested. So to, in order to get to this point, like I had to collect parts and years. Like, out. It took years, right? Yeah. It took me roughly two years to do everything. Because um, when I originally planned to get this car, the exterior was in rough shape. Um, because it was a track car. Yep. So um, I decided to to just collect parts, kind of garner what I wanted to do in terms of vision. And it's still not exactly how I want it. I mean, we'll probably see a, a different version okay. of this car eventually. Definitely. And so, uh, well, you know, in Being the next year guy, or so. Probably, probably new wheels, probably. <laughs> yeah, so I actually probably. have another set of wheels coming in. These oh, are nice. just my track wheels. Um, See, track guys. Track guys got track wheels. Yeah, track guys, track wheels, track tires. There you go. You know, um, I think, uh, and, I, you know, I'm thinking about redoing my, my front arrow, even though I just finished the car. Like, maybe in the next year, I'll probably, like, think about revising it. Oh, nice. Um, make it faster, make it more aerodynamic for the front. Yeah. Uh, it, yeah, I mean, I, I've noticed that I've noticed a few things that I need to do to, in order to get it how I like it. Yep. Um, so I'll be new bumper. Maybe. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> that sounds good. Yeah. Uh, can you show me what's up in the inside? Sure. Because the first thing I noticed was your seats and your seats look crazy, man. Yeah. So um, a funny story about these seats. So a lot of people last year were doing these things called waffles. Um, oh, for and... the design? Yeah, some like a like a local guy was waffling oh. off this specific seat, which is a R Recaro RMS, uh, fiberglass version, not the carbon one. Mm -hmm. um, but they, I think they roughly retail for about twenty four to twenty six hundred. Wow, depending on options. Um, but I won the waffle, and originally I had uh, Recaro um, RSGs in this, which didn't fit as well, and so um, I won it, and I sold my original pair of seats, and I got a second pair, so I match up. Nice. Um, I'm a little bit OCD that Locked way. Locked out, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it, it looks very uncomfortable, but it's actually more comfortable than you anticipate. Especially on the track, right? Yeah, yeah I mean, you really... In place. Yeah, ex yeah, definitely. It, you, you really feel everything. Um, it's more of a tactile seat rather than a comfort seat. What roll cages or, or uh, what kind of harness bar is this? Uh, that is it. Uh, the harness bar is an old style, um, I think it's a CompTech harness okay. bar. I think. I, 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 because I think they had it a little bit differently. I, I could be wrong. Maybe some of the viewers can can help me identify. Oh yeah, definitely. If you, if you know what um, harness bar that is, uh, comment below. Oh, it's yeah. pretty sweet. It's actually uh, <laughs> your the place where you mount your GoPro. Yeah. Nice. So I, I mean, I'm not a great driver, but I like to still learn. You He's know? being really modest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what no. shift knob is that? Shift knob is actually by a friend of mine. Um, the, this company called in SoCal uh, called Zero Auto Factory. Uh, it's actually a Dell Renz shift knob. I use that for street driving, especially mm -hmm. on hot days, because as anyone knows, like if you have- You like, don't want to get burned, right? Yeah, aluminum shift knob, you, you burn nice. your hand. So that's like a plastic shift knob? Yeah, basically, yeah. Oh, it's like nice. a really hard plastic shift knob. That's pretty cool. Oh uh, yeah, the wheel wheels. setup. Uh, it's a little bit interesting. Um, the front is, I'm running, um, I'm actually running 57 CRs um, in, I forget, I think it's like gun blue or something like that. And the front is 17 by 9 plus 22, and the rear is 17 by 10 and a half plus 12. But I'm also running a 15 mil spacer, so it's actually negative three. Nice. Off, like, like, like offset. It looks great because you have wide fenders. It's technically a wide body NSX. Yeah, so, so I run a little bit more aggressive. As you can see, it kind of pokes out a little bit just because it fills out the, the aesthetics of the car. Um, and so. Yeah, I mean, I don't really slam it to the point where it's like there's no, there's no fender gap in the rear, so I'm not too worried about it actually hitting the fenders. 
Um, the front though is a little bit different story. I think I've already hit the fender and cracked it, but you like know, every I, other NSX person, yeah. Yeah, I think I'll have to readjust that later on uh, when I get my new suspension set up in. And you have two forty fives in the front, and then you have two seventy five or two eighty five. Uh, I have two seventy five, thirty five, eighteen in the rear, and two forty five, forty, um, seventeen in the front. Nice. So R triple eights too, man. Those are. Those are nice sticky tires you got there. They are, but they're loud and noisy as hell. Man. Yeah. <laughs> I, I've noticed on the track that it gets kind of greasy uh, pretty fast. The brake setup running four pot front and rear, uh, which is kind of cool about this car because you don't need to run a, like a bigger setup in the front rather than the rear. I think you can still get away with um, doing the same size front and rear uh, just because of how the car is. On the track, do you do more time attack? Do you do what? what oh, yeah, definitely time attack. I don't think I can ever do wheel to wheel for this car. Okay. <laughs> People just run into you. I, just, <laughs> I, I, I get a Miata or something. I'm still trying to learn the car, just still trying to like um, enjoy it as much as I can. You know, going to the track is one of those things I've always wanted to do with like mm -hmm. a build that I, lo I loved. Um, so I was wondering, what's your favorite part of the car? I forgot to ask that. Oh, um, my favorite part? Uh, to be honest with you, I'm not exactly sure. That's a good question. Um, I would say my favorite part uh, would be maybe the the rear. I, I love the way the rear looks um, on this car. Yeah, Just the body kit's really, like, man, it looks crazy. Yeah. Especially you, you see this on the street, it's like, wow, that's <laughs> the track car, the time attack car. <laughs> yeah. I mean, a lot of people will just, like, gawk at it, and they, you know, they, they, it's a very ricey car. Um, but for me, it's I'm very inspired by Japanese time attack, so... Um, and this it's is nice kind of, to see it here. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of their their aesthetic. Uh, I mean, not I'm not as crazy as them, um, but you know, it's kind of like this is like the entry point in Japan for those That's type of cars. Cool. Yeah, it looks great. We didn't talk about the suspension. Oh, right now I have a couple of things going on with the suspension. So right now I'm running Tains or Teens or whatever you want to call Tains, it. Teens, Tens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so they're very, you know, they're they're mono. I think they're monoflex or something. Um, Pretty comfortable, your, right? They're not that comfortable. No? Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. not even. I, I run extremely high spring rates. Oh, because track, track yeah. spec, that's why. Yeah. So um, right now I'm actually in the process of upgrading it to um, Jersey RS2s or the two-way. Nice. Um, so I'm working with a, a local mechanic to get it mounted up correctly in my car. Probably um, add a cup kit too? Yeah, as well as cup kit. Um, that takes a while Have to, to in California, man. Yeah, I mean... Especially I'm, down here in... How many, how many OC, LA. <laughs> exactly. You don't know how many times I've broken stuff on this car. <laughs> <laughs> I do have a cup kit, uh, all four corners, um, mm -hmm. stance parts. Um, and then nice. JRZ is going to be going in. I just need to figure out the mounting solution for the reservoirs. Okay. And then, um, yeah, I mean, uh, suspension is pretty much all done in terms of like chassis support. Uh, I believe it has uh, Comtex sway bars, um, although I, I might be readjusting that and going for something different. Okay. Um, and yeah, I mean, basic Comtech headers, I believe Pride test, resonated test pipes, and Pride version 2 exhaust. Okay, so good amount of uh, mods for what you need in the track, right? No overheating problems like what you get from a supercharger. Uh, you don't have any issues with boost leaks or anything like that. It's just no. all motor. Yeah. Good as, to go. Revs, revs happy. Yeah, this, so this car, I mean, it was stroked to the 3.8 liter current version back in... 2008 mm -hmm. and no issues ever since it still runs like a champ nice. probably needs a new tune though because it's on an old ems um, good stuff sweet but, yeah as far as suspension going back to it um because you track a lot and i don't know a lot of nsx guys who actually track their cars okay. i was wondering did you need to add a sway bar for this car did you need to add any other um suspension parts besides the actual coilovers um to be honest with you it there's it, it, it's a means to an end um and so oh a friend. Um, <laughs> it's probably Brian. It is Brian. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I mean, it's, it's a means to an end. Um, basically, suspension can be always adjusted. And so I'm thinking about taking out the sway bars to see how I like it on track and mm -hmm. putting it back on or just adjusting it to be softer. Um, even spring rates and um, dampening and I know down. a lot of people are going to be interested in that. So yeah. maybe we, uh, I'll come back down and we'll do another interview and oh, uh, yeah. get an update on, on your next setup. And yeah. uh, maybe you can tell everybody 
how it is with uh, your next coilover setup with the JRZs because it seems to me that everybody who has suspension currently on an NSX, they always upgrade to JRZs, which is pretty funny because, you know, that's always like the top of the line kind of like track yeah. rated suspension, but people still use it on the, on the street. So yeah, what's funny to me is that like, you know, I, I think there's like a few, um, a few companies that actually that, you know, NSX owners kind of, um, kind of go towards. Uh, which is like BC and like KWs, which is yep. completely fine because if you're doing it for like st regular street driving and whatnot, um, you know. Uh, but for me, the purpose built for this car is to become more of a more of a track track car. I yep. mean, just to have fun during the weekends, and you know, by all means, I'm not competitive at all. Um, you I mean, say I, that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> all I, competitive I, I, people say they're not competitive. <laughs> I mean, I hope to one day be at least you know to to compete for fun. But I mean, there's there's a bunch of amazing, talented drivers down in SoCal. I don't think I can ever compete with them. Um, but humble, I, I, very humble. No, nice. no, nice to hear. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, like you know, there's a couple there's a couple of guys who actually end, track the NSX here in SoCal, and they're amazing drivers from what I know. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, so um, wrapping up the video, I just wanted to ask: Is there anybody that you wanted to shout out and give thanks for you know your your build? Yeah, so um, I have my friend Cody over at Zero Auto Factory. Um, he helped me source a lot of parts from Japan. Mm -hmm. And I also have my friend Rajit over at Mastermind. He actually helped me import um, most of my body kit. Oh, nice. Parts. Um, and then I have a couple of other friends. Um, Jason, um, his Instagram is Apex, Apex, Apex. And then, Sweet, I'll, uh, I'll make sure to, uh, to put that in the, in the comments. Yeah, Cody with Zero Sync and Rajit with Mastermind. Um, he, they, they've been kind of integral in terms of helping me get source parts for this car. Um, Sweet. And it's always uh, good to have friends when you're building your car so they can, Yeah. You know. I mean, always bounce off ideas. I mean, it's, Definitely. it's, this is one of those things where it's a, it's a blank canvas. It was a blank canvas and now it's kind of molding into what I want to do. It's always evolving. So, um, we'll kind of see how, where it goes in the next few years. I, I think I have some plans for the motor. Um, okay. Nice, so, nice. Everyone's gonna be super excited. Yeah, man. You know, if you like his car, you know, please uh, give a thumbs up. If you don't, <laughs> thumbs yeah, down. Thumbs down. Yeah. I mean, it's pricey as hell. <laughs> well, dude, Matt, thanks for coming out. Thanks for showing us your car. I really appreciate you. Really excited for the future on your car. Thanks for having me, man. For sure. See you next time, bro. Yeah. yeah. See ya. Take care.